G'day YouTube, this is just a short but sweet video to show you guys the 7 things you should do after first installing Linux Mint 17 Kiana as you can see. So I won't waste any time, I'll get right into it. So first of all when you first install the new operating system Linux Mint 17 what you want to do is actually uh, go to the update manager and start to update the repositories for the latest uh, updates to avoid zero day attacks and things like that. So First of all, go to the start menu, as I was talking a moment ago, type in update manager, you'll see it there, then it will pop up here, and then just go to install updates and follow the prompts, and that's fine. So that's stage one, part one. Moving on, part two, very, very important part two. What you want to do is type in, go to the start menu, and type in device manager. Now it used to be called uh, additional drivers or driver manager, something like that, but click on it and have a look and see if there's any proprietary software or should I say hardware that needs to be actually switched on. For example the most important one you'll find is the the Wi-Fi card that needs to be uh, set up in order to work sometimes or the graphics card as well. Now as you can see I'm currently on a virtual box so it's you know you can't really see anything here at the moment. Great moving on number three Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Now this is something you want to install. It allows you to uh, play video and audio and even Java actually and Flash and, and just so on so forth etc. All sorts of codecs really in a sense. And there's a few different ways to do that but I would say the best way for yourself would be Software Manager. So go to Software Manager which I've already opened up down here. It will open up then type in Ubuntu Restricted Extras. Now there we go, I've already installed it, but all you need to do is double click on it. Now don't get thrown off by the name uh, Ubuntu, because uh, of course Linux Mint is based off Ubuntu for the most part anyway, for most cases, so that's pretty much that. Now it will run in the background, so you won't ever actually see it as a program, but it will run through your video applications for example. Moving on, number four. So. VLC, something you really want. Now you don't really want the, the Stocko video totem player that you can get in uh, Linux Mint or Ubuntu for that matter. What you really do want is VLC, so you need to make sure that's installed. So double click on that, I've installed it, so I can only remove it from that point. But once it is installed, of course, you can just go to a VLC and open it up. Too easy. Very helpful. Got a lot of extra settings that can always uh, be quite helpful for you. Great. Moving on. Number five, software sources. Now, select in the, the fastest mirror for downloading updates. So what you want to do is go to menu again, go to software, sources, there it is. I don't have it open in from the past, but I'll just click on that for a moment. You'll have to type in your password uh, as it is an admin change that you're making. So in order to get the fastest uh, server or mirror for downloading updates, what you want to do is go to click on the main Kiana and this is where the fun begins so wait to see which is the fastest speed mirror now this can take a while it's checking a lot of mirrors but my one will of course be somewhere in Australia once you find it all you need to do is click on it then click apply and then it's updated and then there you go there's some really slow ones there's some faster ones .za don't know where that is but uh, that's pretty much it great moving on next firewalls. Now Linux Mint doesn't need antivirus protection but it still does uh, need firewalls in, in some cases. So for example in the past I probably would have recommended uh, the Ubuntu firewall which is the inbuilt command line version but there is a, a graphical version called GUFW and the best way to install that is to go to a terminal so type in terminal go for it and type in sudo apt install gufw. So this is probably the easiest way to install it. Hit enter, throw in your password, and allow that to install. Now mine's already installed, but uh, I'll show you in a second after that's uh, followed through the prompts what to do next to actually play around with it and get it going. Now indeed, it could it could certainly be a, a video of its own, but I'll just quickly open it up for you. G-U-W-F-W, uh, Guffy as I like to call it, hit enter, this is just one way to open it, you can open it through the uh, through the menu as well, I just like to do it through the command line, authenticate, again you need the uh, pseudo password just because it's uh, an admin change that you're making, 
get rid of that for a moment. Now here it is, uh, let's see, so currently the status is on but there's no rules defined here. So as I said I could really get into this in a whole video of its own but I'll just leave it as it is for now. I might show you one, let's see, uh, let's, let's create a new rule. Okay, policy. Now let's pretend that we want to deny FTP or SSH coming through to your computer. Click deny, category, oh, it's probably under system or network, but I'll go all, then we'll go to, here we go, file transfer, then we'll go to, oh, far out, you've got Dropbox there. It's pretty cool, LandSync. Anyway, moving on, you got FTP, and there you go. Uh, it's, 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 it's been a little bit updated, it's giving us little warnings and things these days, but for the moment, just add that so as to deny uh, FTP connections. Now as you can see rules added, good stuff, close. Also I've heard there has been some updates for documentation. Now visual documentation. Now I haven't actually seen them but I'm sure they're hanging around somewhere. So stuff that makes the the GUI firewall a lot easier. It's it's not very uh, user friendly name. G-U-F-W uh, GUI or graphical Ubuntu firewall but uh, very very powerful very effective and and very simple to use in the least as well so that's pretty much it guys and uh, last but not least number seven is keyboard shortcuts now operating systems are great but uh, what makes them better is the keyboard shortcuts so what we need to do is uh, go to system settings from your menu start menu uh, let's see system settings there we go. Let that load up for a tick. This is getting to be a long video. And look for keyboard. If it's not easy to find, then just type in keyboard. There we go. Okay, now tab across one to keyboard shortcuts. And then what you want to do is do something like add custom shortcut. Now what you do is give it a name of something that you want to open up. For example, let's just say Firefox. Next of all is the command. Now the command is generally for a program the same as the name of the actual program. So Firefox, that will work as well. Click add. Now it's not done yet. You'll see you've got Firefox here. I've created one earlier. Look down below, you'll see unassigned. So click on unassigned, click on it again, then it will say pick an accelerator. Type in control alt L and then there you go. For now on control alt L will actually uh, allow it to, to open up. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys, that is the 7 things you should really must do after first installing Linux Mint 17. Hope you guys have enjoyed, please leave a message, please leave a comment, please subscribe and thanks for your time, ciao.